The Affordable Care Act has forced tens of millions of Americans to choose their own health insurance. But in a world where only about 25% of people with insurance actually visit their health care plan's website in a given year, and most consumers don't have a clue about the actual cost of medical procedures, not that I blame them, figuring out what the insurance to get or which doctor to go to even can be incredibly difficult. And that's where this company I just heard of called Vitals comes in. It's privately held, okay, you can't buy shares in it, and it aims to be the price line of the healthcare industry, providing consumers with easy to access information about the cost and quality rated of healthcare providers. It's got over a million doctors ratings and reviews. Vitals has basically created a huge map of the U.S. healthcare system for the consumer. And on top of that, they've built a suite of software services for healthcare providers to help them build actual consumer brands and attract patients. Consumer branded doctors. I think this is a really intriguing story. And earlier I got a chance to chat with Mitch Rothschild. He's the chairman and founder of Vitals. Take a look. Mitch, for the longest time, I, I thought consumers didn't care about the cost of health care. Now they seem to care and they want to know more. What is Vitals doing about this? Well, we're doing two things. First of all, we're creating transparency. We're allowing people to see the cost. As you have high deductible plans and people uh, starting to pay more out of pocket for health care, now they care. When it was dad's credit card paying, they didn't care. Now, with high deductible plans, the exchanges, uh, people are caring. And when they don't care, we try to intervene and give them an economic reason for caring, provide incentives to make the smart economic choice. And why does Vitals care? How do you make your money? We work for the payers, and our job is to help deliver the best quality care at the most effective price. And so uh, the consumer is our first uh, customer, the patient. We want to make sure that the consumer has the best quality care at the best price that they can get into. That requires information and big data. Think about how you used to buy a car. Uh, Kelly's Blue Book right. allows you to have information. You can become a smarter consumer. Our job is to make everybody shop as if they're an expert. Okay, well, I know that you've been compared to Priceline, but when I look at Priceline, I see Delta versus American. I figure they're all pretty much the same. But with healthcare, how do I know whether I just had a good MRI? So we have quality ratings on most of our providers. Uh, patient ratings, outcomes, volumes, et cetera. And we share that along with the price so that people can make a price quality comparison. It's pretty easy. Um, beyond the worst 20% most of the time in the top uh, 30 or 40%, the quality is quite good. Our medical schools and our facilities have done a nice job. Uh, and so our job is to share that quality information along with the cost so that someone can make an informed choice. So there's a bit of a Yelp quality to Vitals, too, in that respect. Absolutely. We have probably more patient ratings than anybody else, uh, north of 6 million at this point. Those are good for primary care, like in pediatrician right. um, or uh, OBGYN. But when it comes to surgery, you want more empirical measures, not so much patient ratings like Yelp. So we also have outcome measures, procedure volumes, et cetera, for folks. OK, I'm from Philadelphia. So let's say we've got great, uh, great hospitals in Philadelphia, great hospitals in New York. Would Vitals ever steer you toward the cheaper alternative, which I can tell you is Philadelphia? So let me parse that question. Okay. The answer isn't always a hospital or a doctor's office. What's happened in the last decade is there have been a growth of a lot of facilities like urgent care facilities, imaging centers, infusion centers, ambulatory surgery centers that provide the same quality care at a much lower cost. Interesting, because I was going to ask you next. I've got a Walgreens doctor who turns out has a great degree. And, and, you know, the person that you would be your primary care, and she's down, she's in the building for me. Does she get rated? Uh, every doctor gets rated, and most facilities get rated as well. So we typically, the place where you can save money, by and large, in medical care is by getting your MRI at an imaging center versus at a hospital, to get your infusion drug at a uh, infusion center versus a hospital. Let me give you one example. Sure. There's a drug called Remicade oh, that sure. um, is for rheumatoid arthritis. Yeah, very tough you get that sense. infused at a hospital. There's probably a $10,000 infusion mm -hmm. cost. At an infusion center, it's about $1,500. That's a huge delta in the system. But who knows where their local image, uh, infusion center is? Mm -hmm. We help share that with you, and we tell you if you go to that one, we'll get you an Uber cab. We'll uh, help pay you a few hundred dollars for your time, and then you can make the decision where you want to go. You could bring actual economics to the healthcare business. It's a great model. Thank you. Yeah, we believe that we are converting the healthcare business into somewhat of a market economy where right. the better quality, lower cost works. I well. think you're forcing it, and it's a good thing. That's Mitch Rothschild, the founder and executive chairman of Vitals, private company still, but you got to be fascinated by what they're doing, and it can save you a lot of money. Stay with Kramer. Booyah! 
Scott, Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.